So students, today the topic which we are going to cover will be inside system unit. This particular thing we used to call it CPU, but it is not called CPU, it is called system unit or sometimes computer case or cabinet. CPU is a part of it. Like we the human being, we have hand, we have legs. Do we, can we call our hand our entire body? No, we cannot call it because hand is a part of the body system. So in the same way, CPU is also a part of system unit. Let's get to number one. Now the topics which we are going to cover today will be system unit, components of system unit, its parts, CPU and its parts, disk drives, power units and ports. One by one, let's get to know about it. Now system unit, it's a box like case which stands near the monitor. It's nothing like that, it has to stand near the monitor. It can stay above the table, it can stay under the table, it doesn't matter. It, we keep it according to our comfortability. Now it protects the internal electronic parts from damage because it has a box uh, as you can see it is totally covered from all four sides so whatever parts uh, they are inside it it gets protected by this cover or case. Now motherboard this is the circuit board which stays inside the biggest circuit board stays inside the computer system unit. Now whenever there is a trouble into your computer um, uh, you call somebody that person comes and open, open up the system unit you might have seen this kind of picture. Okay, It is the largest circuit board it contains many different types of chips and the most important part of it is CPU or the processor which stays here as you can see in this picture it stays here. It is also called the main board uh, or the um, uh, system board and see RAM, RAM gets connected over here. There are two slots if you want to increase your RAM you can add two RAMs into your system unit uh, or the system board and it gets increased. And there are many other parts which gets uh, which is um, engraved over this particular system board. Now the most important part, part as I already told you it's CPU we all know the name of CPU is central processing unit and it is the brain of the computer why it is called the brain of the computer because it controls all functioning of the computer components it processes instructions it performs calculations it communicate with each drive now communicate with each drive means whenever any uh, device needs to needs his works to be done he it takes permission or it uh, gets connected with the cpu and then cpu decides which works need to be done because in a cpu it controls and uh, processes all the works which keeps on coming to it so it decides which works need to be done in a priority basis the work which has the highest priority will be done or will be served at first then we have different parts of cpu uh, it is divided into two parts one is arithmetic and logic unit one is control unit now it is not alu it is alu arithmetic and logic unit because whatever the uh, calculations or the logical operations need to be done it complete it gets completed by ALU and whatever the uh, controlling thing needs to be done like from where the instructions will come to where the instructions will go where the processing will be done where after processing the data will be saved everything gets controlled by control unit it controls and coordinates the flow of the instructions and operations now we have another part of system unit that is disk drives disk drives are used for storing data for future use and it is basically categorized into two sections one is hard disk drives one is optical disk drives about hard disk drives now this particular thing which is the main storage of the computer hard disk is the main storage of the computer whatever instructions data is there into your computer it all gets stored over here and it stays inside the system unit it has a different different types of capacity like 500 gigabytes 1 terabytes 2 terabytes etc like in my laptop i have 500 gigabytes in your computer how much storage space you have please mention it into the comment section so now optical disk drive optical disk drive it's basically the cd or dvd players installed into the system unit where we put the dvd or the cd and we read the content of the cd or dvd and then we have blu-ray disk drive blu-ray disk drives are uh, very very good quality dvds uh, which has the um, where we can store hd quality data or movies and videos like that okay 
then we have power unit power unit is also very important because it supplies that uh, alternate current and uh, sorry it converts the alternate current to direct current low direct current and it supplies power to all the components of the system unit like motherboard or hard disk drive or dv drive whatever it is from here the main power gets connected and then it converts the power and then from here it gets connected to motherboard hard disk drive and dvd drive and finally we have ports at the back side of the system unit if you look carefully you will see various ports available it may differ from a uh, system unit to system unit the system unit contains a number of slots called ports into which we plug various computer devices whether it's a mouse whether it's a keyboard whether it's a network device whether it's a speaker microphone port gaming port whatever it is or oh, if we need to get connected some device of the computer we get we gets connect we keep it connected to different different ports which are available at the back of the system unit so in this chapter we got to know about what stays inside the system unit the different different parts like motherboard uh, hard disk drive optical disk drive uh, then we have power units and etc so these are the questions for you all students please think and answer according to it if you want to answer it in the comment section you are welcome to do that uh, Thank you and if you have liked this video put a heart and share this video among to your friends write some comments and if you are new to this channel subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get the notification of it thank you